Well, how? 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 Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. How are you? Positive salutations. A little bit late today because I uh, forgot I had an appointment with the integrative lady, medicine lady. Um, I just talked to her and uh, talked about all sorts of weird stuff, but I'm still confused. I'm glad she called today because today I've been, uh, I was thinking about what I was going to do for this video because uh, I woke up and I just, I haven't, I don't know that I've woken up yet. I don't think I have woken up yet. I'm having a very strange day today. Um, I did want to give a shout out. Um, there's some happy news in my extended family. I would like to introduce you all to uh, Dr. and Mrs. Lisa Jerry. Uh, I know you can't see them, but uh, uh, my extended family. I know you guys hear me talk about my uh, my brothers, my brother Jeff, his daughter Lisa just got, got married. So. Congratulations to her and Jen. Uh, welcome to the family. Um, scared for Jen because you know Lisa knows us Jen doesn't yet anyways I, I also kind of I, I wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff today but it's kind of all going out the window I, I, I kind of wanted to talk about words because um, words like <laughs> Why can't, why couldn't a, a female sing that song? I, I've, I've just been, I don't know why, but like the, yesterday I was watching uh, Women Who Rock. I was watching um, uh, the part where Joan Jett was talking about coming up. And, you know, the, she, the, one, of the, the, one of the greatest things that, that she said in that, and the, the pain was all there, that, that was horrible and terrible. It's like, you know, well, girls don't play rock and roll. And she basically said, and uh, did it anyway. Um, but uh, one of the things, one of the, the most amazing comments she made in there was just something about how almost, it's like the, how the media portrays things. Because if you go out and you look at all this stuff like, you know, the runaways and, and movies like that, it almost seems like Joan Jett and Lita Ford don't even like each other. And it's it, it was just a comment that Joan Jett made about how they were, how Cherry Curry got into the band and they were auditioning her. And I don't remember. It was some stupid you know, was, she said it was like uh, like Dean Martin or something. She some weird, just you know, super you know vanilla song that she sang for the audition, and that's when Joan Jett actually wrote um, "Cherry Pie," and um, it said, "Here, sing this." But uh, the the thing that the offhand comment was just because to me. Um, Joan Jett is an amazing guitar player. Lita Ford has always been better. Lita Ford has always been like the, the amazing, the shredder, and it's just like, you know, she is, she is a lead guitar player. Lita Ford is a lead guitar player. Joan Jett is a, definitely a front woman, and that she comes up with these uh, amazing rhythms, but, you know, Lita Ford to me has always been the shredder and, and, and more complex um, things. Joan Jett has been more uh, kind of... I don't want to say pop because it's not pop. It's it's her own thing, but it's more you know music you can sing along to and stuff. But to, to, so this is all building up to to I think Lolita Ford is an amazing guitar player and she she deserves to be up there in the rock and roll pantheon of guitar players and should definitely always be mentioned in the you know top five or hundred list and she should definitely be in there. Joan Jett. But because um, Joan Jett comes up with it, she's an amazing songwriter. But as as a guitar player, I think Lita Ford is better. That's all. Um, and I think they they both should be up there, way past a lot of the males that are over there. But it's a different story. Um, but the the offhand comment that she made was just about uh, Cherry Curry coming in, and, and it was like you know I'm thinking you know about the band and that they're amazing, and you know you have this guitar player with Lita Ford, and you're trying to make this amazing band, and and, and, uh, and you know Lita Ford wants to do this rock and roll thing just like you two because you were just taught you also want to do because you were just uh, you know talking about how you, you surround yourself with like-minded people and all that, and you want to play rock and roll, and she comes in with this vanilla crap ass song and and Lita Ford's Lita Ford's comment was something I was just like oh that's precious or something like, like oh god like no please we're trying to do something good here and you find this weirdo 
<laughs> but it was just, you know, the, the, the comment was just about the way she said it was more like exactly what I just said about Lita Ford. Like, Joan Jett is like, she's my lead guitar player. She's like, you, you don't touch her because she's amazing. And just, you know, and, and all the way the media portrays it, it's like, they don't even like each other. It's like, I don't think that's true. I think they have super high respect for each other. And I think between the two of them, they couldn't... They were like more like um, Steven Tyler and Joe Perry. At times, they were just too much like siblings to be able to get along with each other. Um, the words that I wanted to talk about, though, were, were things like, you know, I grew up... <laughs> Why couldn't a woman sing that? Because I always was of the belief that, you know, and this was uh, when I was growing up, this happened a lot, this, especially in the 60s. There were gunslingers, songwriter gunslingers that would go out and write songs for people. So um, to me, it was always like, OK, somebody wrote that song. It does. It's never ever gender specific so you could always an artist could always take that song you know you know you mess with her you see a, a man get mean you mess with her you see a woman get mean why can't you just change it so to me it was never a question of can a woman do this it was more like you know the words just need to be changed and what's the matter with people so to me it was always the stupidity of words and it seems to me religion is kind of the same way because it seems to me that religion always gets locked up in this my god is better than your god and if you look at it every religion is kind of the same they all start off with the, there is one god but me the only the only difference i can find is the words they use and the words that you know like yahweh jehovah you know allah god uh you know they're just different words and people get stuck on the words is what it seems like to me you know like, my god can be up here god it's like no man it's the same thing and it's the same thing with with art and music you should be able to interchange the words and use them for whatever you want it is art take it use it for what you want <laughs> This all comes from um, words or, you know, pictures are, are, are worth a thousand words. And of the happy couple, there's a, a picture that was taken on Jeff and Laura's um, uh, back back porch, back deck. They, uh, they're on the 19th floor. I don't know what you call it. One eye, I guess. Uh, whatever. But the happy couple is out on the back deck. And it's just the expression on their faces was this song would fit perfectly. have to change words a little and, and I, I I don't see a problem with that but society seems to anyway this has been a really long video I don't know why I made it in the first place hopefully y'all can like comment and subscribe that would be awesome I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can give away a guitar um if you didn't like it you could tell me that too I really don't whichever's I'm just looking to say hey um trying to get this you know trying to do the 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 the, the positive thing every day trying to get out here and I did not feel like doing this so I wanted to get something out here and it turned into a weird video so uh, hopefully you stayed till the end uh, if you didn't that's cool too if you did thank you so much and thank you everybody for subscribing because it really does it does a body good and uh, I hope you all are having a great day always look up he's there for you and again congrats to the to the happy couple and I hope to actually see you all in person someday y'all can come out here you know I got a guest room it's right over there anyways I'll see you then peace